Finding the midpoint, the missing endpoints coordinates in two dimensions is just like finding it in one. You just have to go through the process twice. So in our example, y is the midpoint of xz, and we know the coordinates of x and y. We want to find the missing endpoint z. So remember, the x coordinate in the middle, which in this case is 5, is the average of the x coordinates at the endpoints. That gives us the equation 5 is equal to 2 plus x divided by 2. The same thing is true for what the y coordinates. Negative 1, the y coordinate of the midpoint, is the average of 3 and y, the y coordinates of the endpoints. So negative 1 is equal to 3 plus y divided by 2. If we solve each of those equations, we get, in the case of x, we'll multiply both sides by 2, that's going to be 10 is equal to 2 plus x, leaving us with x equal to 8. In the case of y, again multiply by 2, negative 2 is equal to 3 plus y, and that means that negative 5 will be the value of y. That means our answer is that the coordinates of z are 8, negative 5. Like the number line example, there is a shortcut method. The method you've just seen will work in every case, including where there are variables in for the missing coordinates of, of all three points. But here's the shortcut, which does work if there are numbers in all three, like there were this time. To move from the x-coordinate of 2 to the x-coordinate at the midpoint, 5, you'd have to add 3. So to get to the x-coordinate at the other endpoint, simply add another 3. And 5 plus 3 is 8, which is the number we'd gotten before. Do the same thing for the y-coordinate. To go from a y-coordinate of 3 at one end to the middle, negative 1, you'd have to subtract 4. So simply subtract another 4 and you'll be at the other end. Negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, which is the answer we'd gotten on the previous page. So again, the missing endpoint has coordinate z is 8, negative 5.